Hey everyone, David Shapiro here for a quick video today. I had someone message me, I think it was on Twitter or LinkedIn, asking if I could help with a cover letter generator. And I was like, no, I don't really do consulting anymore. Um, but then I was looking through my video history and I saw that um, my email generator um, was very popular. And so the email generator, you can go, go look at the code or look at the video. But um, the email generator is pretty straightforward. It just takes a blob of text and writes an email. Um, it, 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 it can take a chat log and convert it into an email. It can take a rant and turn it into an email, so on and so forth. So uh, let's just, this, I, and I, I wanted to try this. So I was thinking like, okay, that was a popular video, resumes, cover letters. Nobody knows how to write a cover letter, right? You don't ever do it. Um, and I thought like, at first I was like, is this unethical because like a cover letter is supposed to be written by you to, you know, but I was like, no, like you, people go to career coaches, people have mentors. Actually, um, my fiance has a, a friend who is like a professional, um, like career coach who helps with cover letters. I, ha I have another friend who, who actually gave me advice for my resume. So I was like, no, like it's just another tool. Um, so I don't think there's anything unethical about using a machine to help you generate this thing. Um, so yeah, here we go. The prompt that I wrote, and this was my first attempt. I didn't make any changes. So the following is a conversation between a career coach and a job seeker. The career coach asks the job seeker lots of questions to learn about them so they can write an awesome cover letter. Um, so it just says, this is what's going on. This is the goal. The career coach also asks about the company and job they want, as well as their work history, strengths, and pa passions. Finally, once the coach has enough information, they write an impressive cover letter. So all I started was here, was, hey there, what's your name? And so this was actually an actual generation. I posted it on Twitter because I was like, well, that was easy. Um, my name is Dave. Hi, Dave. Tell me a little bit about the company and job you're interested in. And since I grew up watching Wiley e. Coyote and Roadrunner, I said Acme Dynamite. I want to work at Acme Dynamite as a product specialist. I love blowing stuff up. That sounds like a really fun job. What are some of your strengths? I freaking love dynamite. I know everything there is to know about it. Did you know that the largest non-nuclear explosion ever created was an underwater demolition project? No, I didn't know that. That's really interesting. What is your work history like? Well, I used to be an ordnance tech with the U.S. Army. None of this is true, actually, um, about me. Um, that's great. What did you do in that role? Mostly I set demo charges to dispose of failed ordnance and demo and de or demolish structures. That sounds like a really exciting job. I'm sure you have lots of experience with dynamite. What are you passionate about? Dynamite. <laughs> I can tell while well, I think I have enough information. And so then um, it ended there and I, I added this cover letter. So that just tells the, tells the machine, okay, time to write the cover letter. And this is what it wrote. To whom it may concern, I am writing in regards to the open product specialist position at Acme Dynamite. I am immensely excited about the prospect of working for such a fun and innovative company. I bring with me a wealth of experience with Dynamite, both in my previous role as an ordnance tech with the U.S. Army and my personal life. I am passionate about Dynamite, and I firmly believe that I have the skills and knowledge to excel in this role. Now, this is kind of generic, kind of boilerplate, so you could probably do some fine-tuning to make a little bit more robust of a, uh, of a cover letter. But you know what? Like, for just off the cuff, just some prompt engineering. I'm really impressed with this. In addition to my experience with Dynamite, I am also a highly motivated and detailed oriented individual. I'm confident that I can be an asset to the Acme Dynamite team, and I look forward to con contributing to your success. Thank you for your consideration, and I look forward to hearing from you soon. All right, so let's do this again. Um, so let's just like, Seeker, um, hi there, what's your name? Wile E. Coyote. <laughs> Coach. Oh, and so, now, stop. That's not what you're supposed to do. Why didn't it work this time? Okay, so I forgot to point out um, uh, coach and seeker. So by having, um, here, my name is, we'll do a period. Um, if you I add the stop sequences, because otherwise it kind of will will just go off and run like, it, like you just saw it. Um, nice to meet you, Wiley. Uh, what company are you looking to work for? Um, uh, I want to work for the um, Eat the Road Runner Foundation. <laughs> Coach, okay. Great. What job are you looking for? Um, seeker. I want to eat the <laughs> Road Runner. Uh, I'm definitely aging myself. I see. Well, what are your strengths? Um, seeker. I'm very hungry. Unmotivated to catch the Roadrunner. Um, 
I excel at designing and setting traps, such as by using rockets, cages, and automated mallets, coach. Those are great strengths. What are you passionate about? Roadrunner flesh. <laughs> I'm having way too much fun with this coach. Okay, I think I have enough information to write an impressive cover letter. Okay, cover letter. Let's see what it writes. To whom it may concern. <laughs> Roadrunner eater at the <laughs> I'm confident that I am the perfect candidate for this job as I have a great deal of experience in hunting and trapping roadrunners. My strengths include my hunger and motivation <laughs> as well as my creativity in designing traps. I'm passionate about eating roadrunners and I'm confident that I can be an asset to your organization. Thank you for your time and consideration. Wild E. Coyote. Okay. So this clearly works. Let me do a time check. I don't think I'm going to, yeah, this is only six minutes. Um, I don't think I'm going to do this as a fine tuning project. Uh, honestly, I just did this because I'm waiting for other fine tuning jobs to finish. Um, but I think this, this worked rather well. So I'll just save this as another demo, um, demo too. So this will, this will be up in the, uh, the GitHub repo. Um, so that you can check these, these prompts if you want. So it'll be under cover letter generator. I might revisit it and do, um, do this as a fine tuning job. But, uh, so here's, here's the advantage. Here's the, the chief advantage of this is that by having a prompt, by having this prompt, it kind of gives you the structure because as a normal job seeker, like you might not know what to include. Um, but by having this prompt, it will walk you through the process. And so I'm sure someone with, uh, with a little bit of web experience could probably build this into a quick UI. UI. Um, and then you could probably even do a second prompt to make, actually, no, let's do that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So given, um, all right. I think I already copied this out. Yeah. Okay. So given the following chat log, write, um, and improve impressive cover letter. Uh, let's see. The cover letter should, um, uh, coach cover letter. Um, let's see. The cover letter should be bold, impactful, um, and professional. Um, include, um, include details such as strengths and passions, um, but also address the uh, company directly. So what I did here, uh, let me actually show you, I did, I did a little bit of research. So there's, um, some of these ideas I got from like Harvard business review, like how to write a, a cover letter, think about the future, strong opening, um, emphasize your personal value. And it kind of already knows all this. I actually, I wouldn't be surprised if GPT three already, um, has read these articles, especially the older ones. Um, so yeah, and then there's, you can look at examples, you know, so on and so forth. Um, yeah, so anyways, let's just take this and plug this into the playground. Let's see if it gives me anything just a little bit different. To whom it may concern. Um, let's see, it's a little bit better, yeah, okay. Let's run this again. So I'm writing in regards to the open position based on the requirements as, uh, as someone with an extensive background in hunting and trapping. Yeah. So this is a little bit more, a little bit more professional. So it might be, might be beneficial to split it up into multiple prompts. <laughs> Fat fingered that real hard. <laughs> okay. Uh, and it looks like it'll generate a similar format. Okay, cool. So I will. Yeah, there you go. So I'll save this as the, um, so this will be, this will be a cover, a prompt cover letter. And then what I'll do is I'll come in here and rename, um, 
So we've got prompt for the cover letter, and then we'll have prompt for the um, prompt for the uh, coach chat. And then I, I guess I don't need, I'll just leave the demo up there as an example. But yeah, okay, so you can see basically splitting it into two, we'll have, oh, sorry, let me zoom in a little. Um, we'll have one prompt for handling the cover letter and a second prompt, or the first prompt will be to generate the chat and then another prompt to actually generate the cover letter. Um, and so then if you wanna play with this, you can. Um, let me go ahead and CD cover letter. Um, get status, get add, get commit AM, all done, and get push. Whoops, push. Okay, so you can you can play with this yourself. If someone um, does build this into a UI, um, please send it to me, and I will feature you on my channel or Twitter or whatever. Um, but I think that uh, I think that this you just build a basic website that does this, and you've got instant value. All right, well, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and um, consider supporting me on Patreon.